are you serious? Are you serious? I mean, at 70,000 miles an hour, you can almost feel the breeze as a gigantic asteroid that was nearly six football fields in diameter just went racing by the earth and the moon, but it's not going to hit us. It didn't hit us, and it went past on this October 31st, 2015 Halloween. Now, it's an unusual situation. This was the biggest asteroid that come this close to us since 2006, and we didn't see this coming until October 10th. We did not know it existed. So when they say, and NASA's saying to us, don't worry, there's not going to be any more big asteroids going to come real close until the year 2027. Here's the problem with that prediction. That's what they know of. But what about the fact that an asteroid this big came this close to 310,000 miles from the Earth, a little bit further from the Earth than the Moon. It actually come a lot closer to the Moon than it did the Earth. But... We didn't know it was even there until October 10th, 21 days ago. Three weeks ago, we found this thing. So you can't bank on saying, we, oh, we don't have to worry about now any asteroids. We don't have to worry about the sixth or seventh seal of Revelation happening at least till 2027 because they don't see any more out there. You don't know. They may see one four days from and say, we got four days and we got a deep impact coming because they can't see them quick enough for... NASA is hiding the information from us and is not telling us everything. Now, here's what's going on. This, this asteroid, which was, of course, called TB-145, uh, also known as the, the pumpkin asteroid because it's Halloween, um, came uh, very close to our planet, only 310,000 miles away. It was about 2,000 feet in diameter. It was a, a big, if it would have hit us, it would have caused a cataclysmic event. You, you, can, you can imagine how powerful that meteorite that hit in Russia in 2013. And nobody saw that one coming. We didn't even get a heads up. This thing did a deep impact, and we didn't even know it was coming. So my whole point is, uh, you, you can't go by what NASA's predicting or telling you, because in some cases, they don't tell us, or other cases, they don't know it's coming. And we're entering into this galactical plane of asteroids, more and more and more of them all the time. So, you know, again, just being real, being real with you, um, uh, this, this asteroid, uh, we got a three weeks heads up. It didn't hit us. We'll continue to move on, but we have no idea what else, what is waiting for us. And God is completely in control of the time the space, and the destiny of the planet Earth. And he will destroy this Earth. He will melt it with fervent heat. Christ will return. He's coming for his bride. These are evident facts that cannot change. We don't know the day nor the hour that the, the Lord is coming, but we can definitely see the day approaching, and we know we're in the season. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're, we're, we're seriously, we're running out of time. And Christ is going to come back with no notice. NASA won't see him coming. No one will. He will come like lightning from the east to the west. People will cry for rocks and mountains to hide them from the face of him that sits on the throne. He's coming riding a white horse with his eyes a flame of fire and his hair as white as wool. And 10,000s of saints will be riding along with him on a glorious cloud and the rich men and the uh, the chief captains and and the kings and presidents of the earth and the mighty men will all cry for the rocks and mountains to hide them from the face of him who sits on the throne are you saved give your life to Jesus Christ we're right now time and it's going to get intense <laughs>